It's widely known that we need to cook mushrooms before consuming them, as there's a potentially cancer-causing compound found in mushrooms called agarotene. And in vivo, agarotene has been proven to form bonds with DNA through enzymatic activation to form a mutagenic agent. And research identified it as a potential carcinogen in animal studies. Agarotene is heat unstable, which means if we cook them well, we can greatly reduce the amount of agarotene in mushrooms. However, it's a bit more complicated because when we cook mushrooms, let's say in a spaghetti sauce, the agarotene is reduced in the mushrooms, but that's because it's just transferred into the cooking liquid. Researchers found that boiling was quite good as half of the toxin is removed after just five minutes. But as I mentioned, here's the problem. It's not completely eliminated because it turns out that it's just transferred into the cooking water. So if you were making a broth, levels within the mushrooms drop by about half at five minutes and 90% after an hour. But it's because it's leaching into the broth. Dry baking mushrooms for 10 minutes at around 400 degrees Fahrenheit, for instance when we would make a pizza, only reduces the agarotene levels by about a quarter which means 77% still remains. Frying for five to 10 minutes reduces quite a lot, but microwaving appears to work even better. Just one minute in the microwave reduces the agarotene content of the mushrooms by 65%, and only 30 seconds wipes out about half. So microwaving is probably the best way to reduce agarotene levels in fresh mushrooms. But all of this said, this study that looked at mushroom consumption and risk of cancer in two large cohorts found no association between mushroom intake and cancer. Erring on the side of caution, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger. When I talk about cooking, the importance of cooking raw mushrooms, we're just talking about agaricus mushrooms. And there's some called agaritine uh, found in that family. And so that's white mushrooms, uh, cremini mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, which are all just the exact same mushroom, just in different stages of development. Um, and that mushroom does have something that you really want to cook out. The only other two... I'd be worried about making sure you're cooking really well shiitake mushrooms, not because of a garotene, but because you can get this flagellate dermatitis, this whip-like rash up to 10 days after you eat the undercooked shiitake so you don't make the connection. And then morel mushrooms have to be cooked and shouldn't be eaten with alcohol. And even if they are cooked, don't eat too many of them. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.